right, welcome, welcome. We are streaming some vampire, vampire, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let me get some sound going. There we go. All right, so last time we left off, I could not beat this boss, Miss Doris Fletcher, long arm. So uh, off camera, I basically went around, healed a bunch of people. Uh, if I look in here, see that Dox is no longer in hostile. So I basically just went around, healed a bunch of the areas. There's still some that are sick, but most of them are a lot better. And then I leveled up. So, let's see. So we leveled up my Blood Spear, leveled up my Ultimate. Uh, I think I left Autophagy and Blood Barrier alone. But I did upgrade my bite, my uh, blood drain from bite, and my life drain from blight, from bite. So, yeah. So hopefully, oh, and the other thing I did, I fully upgraded the hacksaw, and the list and knife is almost fully upgraded. So I do a lot more damage. So hopefully, we can win. Hopefully. I got this. Hey, Cora. blood will be mine! On guard! Came just in time for me to, uh, kick this lady's ass. Oh yeah, that does a lot more damage now. Oof. She still hits hard, that's for sure. I hit way harder than I did before. Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna release her arm right away. Oh, that, that hurt. That hurt. Come on, heal, heal, heal. Come on, come on. Oh, here we go. All right, I need blood. Oh, ow. Drain her blood there. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Nope, nope. Will you stop. There we go. Drain her blood. Drain her blood. Alright. I need healing. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, switch targets on me at the last second. No. Both. Oh, why are you switching targets on me? Don't switch targets. Alright, backbreaker. Go for the backbreaker. I died. This is still a difficult boss. Okay. You can... It's that arm of hers. I, mean, I just need to go all in. Oh, you're going to start me off up here. Okay. Well, I guess... Wait, can I... Give me an option to teleport? No, I aggroed them, didn't I? Yep, I aggroed them. All right, let's drain their blood. Come on. So pay the hacksaw. Where are you teleporting? All right. Oh, she's gonna bite me. There we go. Drain her blood. And just gonna ulti on her. There we go. Oh, that hurt. Alright. So getting hurt a lot today. Ooh. 
Rat. Drink the rat's blood. Thirst for blood. Yes, yes, we know. All right. Let's do this. My blade shall pierce your villainous heart. Your hand is shaking. All right, come on. I smell your fear. Do you now? What does it smell like? Touche, sir. Come on. On guard. Come to me. No, you don't need any servants. Made her cancel. Alright, come on, come on. Alright, get one more hit. Oh, that's gonna be the. There we go. Actually, dodge that. All right, drain her blood. Oh my god. No, I wanted to do that on the boss lady. Oh my god, this is not going well. Come on, drink her blood. I need some help. Oh, jeez. Yep, it's both of them. No, don't summon more. I could have dodged that. Ooh, that hurt. Right as I activated my shield. Right as I activated my shield. I can do this. Why does it start me off at the entrance? You don't need to start me off at the entrance. Well, at least it gives me a little bit of uh, blood. Where's that rat? Oh, it's over here. Give me a little bit more blood. This is despicable. I will beat this boss. This My is when we beat it. Turn off the backbreaker. Let's see, what's one hit? It's two, and it's gone. Behold, oh, we're going right into the arm. Will she be the queen again once they all share Only did 26 her. damage, really? There we go. That does more damage. You my father. Oh, God. Will you stop hitting me? There we go. Drink her blood. Couldn't even dodge out of the way. I got stuck in the corner. This is starting to get depressing. Yep, just let me jump up there. Come on. Ooh. Rat, give me your blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. Don't believe, just do it. All right, this is the run. This is the run where we win. Woe unto thee, son of Babylon. I smell your fear. It's one hit. Two, but it already went day. Away. Nope. All right. Do ulti. Take her 
down. Behold, Kinslayer, the Dodge disgrace away. she was once renowned. Will she be the queen again once they all oh, share she resisted her that. Face. Still resisted it. Oh, really? That... My blade shall pierce your... Pick her blood. Just going right in. Oh, I can't do anything. I can't dodge. Oh, three of them? Really? No, no, no. Oh. Oh, that. This is gonna hurt. Heal. Heal. Blood. Oh, now she's spitting poison? Drink their blood. This is getting a little chaotic. Her blow up. There we go. Nope, let me let me do something. Alright. Ulti. Then I should be able to go in. Yes. Yes. Wait. I beg you, wait. What? Oh, I'm just gonna stop fighting. I don't want to die. And I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. I didn't. Will you I spare I did. me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Does your heart? Beat a little faster now. You fancy me then, Doctor? No. You got some issues, lady. My dead heart will beat for only one. Ah! Is she pretty? Is she, pretty? <laughs> Is she sweet and tender? To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. Lady, you got some serious and issues. This is partly why you must be destroyed. Sorry, what? I thought we weren't gonna what kill her. You just said. That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. <gasps> that arm Will is massive. Remembered? Will you? Is she gonna burn herself alive? You were. Doris Fletcher, the greatest actress of her generation. I think she's gonna burn herself no alive. Can take that from you. Thank you. Instead of letting me kill her, she's and gonna burn herself were. alive. Wow. Farewell. What just happened? Bravo! So dramatic! I love it! McCullum! How strange I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that scal infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the puzzle together... Really? I'm gonna have to fight the free one now? Stay away from me, McCollum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. That's nice of him. I should probably leave the theater right now. Yes, I should. I cannot enter. Oh, okay. I gotta the go around the back. should be safe now. But London is not. It would be wise to benefit from the Ascalon's protection while I continue my research during the Great Hunt. Okay, so... I have to go back to Ascalon now? Because I defeated the source of the infection? These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Oops. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, there. There's a bunch of them right there. Don't so Doris me. just needed to be close to her audience to infect them. Contagion through skin. Very disturbing. That is disturbing. Contagion through skin. Oh, here we go. Now we can go to uh, Chapel District. By Chapel. Brawler. Anybody else? Nope. Okay. Don't mind me, dude. I'm just gonna break your back a few times, that's all. This is what you get for not snuggling with me last stream. Alright. Where are we going? I think I'm going this way. Uh, no, I'm not going this way. Where am I going? No, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Hey, can I... Hey, trash! Alright. See, that's not where I want to go. I want to go over here. Yes, over here. All right, and then we go inside here, Portrait Lord Redgrave. And they still haven't cleaned anything up. For some godforsaken reason. Like, don't they understand this is a huge health hazard? Oh. What are you doing here? Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been That's formally I asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who okay, so, I so we guess. are a couple Please now? Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. I'm confused. So Elizabeth they are a couple Ashley. now. Only you can make me smile. Okay, they're definitely a couple now. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. How'd you know that I was going to be here? The Arthur Pembleton, Lord Hutchinson. Who else is here? Lord Hammersley. Lord Redgrave. Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please, tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I'd been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. I mean, does it really matter who cleansed her? You and pierced the very heart of the corruption. Uh, some questions some remain. questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a I'm new sorry, vampire? What? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic? Or are you asking me to turn exactly. somebody? I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Econ he deserves to be. Uh. Uh. Here's the thing. If. If I am, if I was made by an incredibly powerful vampire, wouldn't any vampire that I directly make also be incredibly powerful? Not as powerful as me, but still be very powerful? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm the best candidate for such a task. I can hear so I feel like they're trying to use me to just create a bunch I'm of powerful vampires. Principles. But in this 
this matter, there is more at stake than your moral comfort. It's not a moral question, Lord Redgrave. It's the responsibility of giving immortality to a man I barely know. Nonsense. Aloysius has been a member of the Ascalon for years. This is but the fruition of a long-held plan. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson Estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Before uh, I've got I go, questions. I have a few questions. All right, I'm listening. Why, Why him? Aloysius Dawson. Because he is about to die, and he just may be the most influential man in England, after me, of course. Oh, okay. Does he know that? Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Doctor Reed. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is through your sister. Did he choose me? No, I did. My decision is very recent, to say the least. But it is yeah, they're only mine. having me do it because of how powerful I am. You invited Lady Ashbury. Wouldn't that be breaking one of your cardinal rules? No women allowed. Not allowed as members, no. But considering the circumstances, I thought you'd like to have her here to witness your triumph. So it's a temporary admittance, then. Something of a bargain, considering the crisis we're currently facing. Interesting. How would you like me to proceed? Don't worry. Aloysius has had many years to prepare himself. He has studied our kind for decades. Is there any Is danger? There any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They die for good. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself for a long time. So, I so just shall I just let him blood. drink my blood? Yes. Aloysius will gratefully sup on your blood. His heart will Sip slow or sup? and stop. But he will rise again as one of us, an immortal. Interesting. Goodbye, Lord Redgrave. Interesting. I'm not sure I like this idea. But, uh. Maybe we'll see what, uh. He Are has you to say. Right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? Uh, I'd like your advice. I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Because he wants really a powerful want vampire that he can have under, under his control. Do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of ah. is of lesser lineage. Interesting. And only capable of creating skulls. Please, tell me more about your research. So he's not that strong. As long as you lower your voice. He's a weak vampire. What would happen if I made Dawson an Ekon like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a hey, world. Hey, world. How you doing? An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. Yeah, this really does not sound like a good idea. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did Didn't you have to go to work today, to that's good. To separate the healthy rich from the it's always good to have a day off. Do not make him your progeny. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. 
Are you sure? So what? Just wait until he dies. Is correct. He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls. If the poor souls survive at all. So how can you how be so be sure? sure? The information was correct. I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the I'm blood he covers is a token. Does truly belong to that legendary man? I didn't get home until 2 a.m. Damn. Damn. But he was never his progeny. His lineage what do you do? is not so noble. That's a lot. That's long hours for one call. Goodbye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please be careful. All right, I'm thinking. Oh, you're an electrician? Got it. God, still, that's that's really long hours. Alright. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. Yep, I already figured that out, though. Alright, so I need to go over here. Reach Temple Church entrance. Yeah, and I also had a regular work day before, so 16 hours in total yesterday. Damn. Yeah, that that's rough. I've done 16 hour days before, and though yeah. Bet you're glad you're uh don't have to go to work today. A couple people walking there. Yep. They're enemies. Yep, see, that's what you get for one of my fancy coat. What even is that? Oh, you're dead. Um, I don't feel like I should go up there. Where is this? That's okay, I think I might have. Oh, well, no, it looked like there's a gate there. There we go. Yep, shoot me. Shoot me! There we go. Dead. Who is that? Green Fire Executioner. Oh yeah, you're going down, dude. Drinking your blood. Anybody who tries to use fire on me is definitely dying. Okay, drinking his blood. Claw stabby. Hacksaw stabby. And blood spear to the face. Those. Anything else? Nope. Okay. And yep. Yeah. I just need to go down here and go down there. I'm just gonna ignore you. Ooh, trash. Alright, let's go in here. Enemies, I don't see any. All right, it's locked. All right, I should find another way to get into the neighborhood. 
Oh, okay, cool. Oh, there's some way over here. Probably gonna be through the sewers or something. Excuse me, Mr. Skull. Can you not be here? Very unusual for us to have to work so long. Having to actually work when you are on call is very rare. Really? Like, I know when you're on call, you basically don't have to do anything unless you get a call, but... I'm surprised uh, you don't actually get a lot of calls. That's what you're... sounds like you're saying. There we go. Heal up a bit. That's a lot of red paint. I think this passage could lead me close to Aloysius Dawson's mansion. Thick, sturdy blood sample. Only the sturdiest of samples. Let's see, Shadow Echon. Don't you know better? I don't know any better. That's why I'm attacking you. There we go, drink your blood. Oh, that that did some serious damage. Don't call me stupid. I just killed you after all. Zooming, nope, this is not the way I, I need to go. Nope, this is the way I need to go. Yep. Yes, a lot of factories either have their own on-call staff or don't operate outside of regular business hours. I mean, that definitely makes for an easier job most of the time. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Main quest, chapter 5. Wanted to see where I was on the main quest. There's apparently eight chapters in this game, and I'm on chapter 5, so... Private customers, it suddenly isn't an emergency anymore when you tell them the price. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure the price goes up when uh, it's later in the afternoon, too. This is despicable. Alright. Where are we going? The enemies. There's blood over there. I have this. Uh, I cannot Door enter. can't open. Alright, I probably have to go down here. Any enemies? Nope. You shall learn to respect the oh, I'm... Of Ascalon. I'm in Ascalon. Who are you? Alright, get out of the way. I don't even know who this guy is. Um, no, no, no. No. Alright. Try and... Get him down that way. That way I can stun him real quick if I need to. Oh, he hit me. Damn, he does a lot of damage. Oh, 
sure he's gonna launch himself at me. Yep. Okay. At least he has an easy pattern to recognize. Nice, he took the last hit. Right, last second there. Alright, ultimate. That still does quite a bit of damage. And I'm gonna need some of your blood, sir. I need quite a bit of your blood, actually. I think it was about half. Oh. Not expecting him to turn around with that. I need you to uh, take some more damage, man. A little bit more. There you go. And blood spear to the face. And claws. I'll have another blood spear. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Alright. Let me heal. Let me get my blood shields. And just go all in and grab some of his blood. There we go. And then take my blood spear. And then take my claws. And take another blood spear. Nope. That didn't work. There we go. There we go. Amazed I did that first time around. Alright, well, what did he even drop? Uh, I don't even know where he dropped. Yep, nope. I don't know. Oh well. Also, this is the weapon I got from that boss earlier. Remarkable Saber. Increased damage dealt, decreased stamina consumption, blood absorption, blood absorption, damage. How does it compare to my current weapon? It's lower, does less damage. Yeah, no, never using that. Alright, where are we? Dude, does that lead back to that door that I couldn't open? Bet you it does. Oh, hello. Who are you? My name is Robert Teasdale. To whomever may find this message, please try to help me. My daughter Louise disappeared a few weeks ago. She was seen for the last time in a bar in the neighborhood. Not the one where she works as a waitress, but another one, the Dancing Trout. Two witnesses saw her leave the place with an elegant and unknown man, maybe a foreigner. There are many rumors of men and women vanishing in the area. I am convinced my Louise has been abducted and is kept somewhere nearby. I know the police will not help for they already have more important things to do. So I have decided to look for Louise myself. If you find this letter, it means I failed saving her. My Louise is a good girl who does not deserve to die like this. She is of medium size with dark hair and a scar on her right cheek. Please search for her and finish this work for me. God bless you. Louise's father was determined to find and save her. Interesting. That's yet another quest that I still have to do. Alright, yep, so that opened that door. Just gonna jump on down here. Ooh, loot. Loot that I missed. Alright. Don't see any other loot down here. What is over here? Is there anything over here? Well, I guess there's nothing over here, is there? Up 
top just looks really shiny. Okay, cool. This is a pointless hallway. Some red paint. Another pointless hallway. Is there anything besides pointless hallways? Oh, one of these contraptions. Let's see. It's locked. Oh, I have to raise the water up all the way. Okay. Anything over here? It's oh, locked all locked. Right. too. Okay, so I have to connect these two and then I'll be able to go around. Nope, that brings it down. That brings it up. Nope, that brings it down again. Alright, so probably have to do this one. Yep, okay. And this one. Yep, door's been unlocked. Go through here. Go through here. And we can go over here. Ooh, uh, where the hell did you come from? Why are there four of you? Why are there four of you? I didn't even see you hit me. Nope, nope. I want out of that pile. Not the kind of pile I want to be in. All right, heal, 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 heal. Just attack, attack. Why do there have to be so many? There we go. And then I can do this, hit a few of them. There we go. Go hit a few of them again. No, don't hit me. All right, there we go. Once more. There we go. Killed one. Oh, come on. I should have dodged out of the way. That was on me. All right. Where do these skulls even come from? I don't even see them. Really, do I have to do this all over again? Oh boy. Switch to my stake. Might be able to stab him. Stab him with the stake to stun him. Back away. Back 
away. I want to back away. No. Oh, that hurts. No, this is gonna hurt. Oh. There we go. Drink his blood real quick, real quick. All right, heal, shield. And once more, drink his blood again. What? What? Should have been able to take one hit. I just drank some blood. I should have been able to take a hit. This is starting to get a little frustrating. All right. Let's open that. Yeah, I'm gonna open that. I'm sure, if I come through the doors, it's gonna close on me. Yep. Here we go. Uh... Keep on going. There we go. We'll just do that. That. Blood to rain him dry. And we'll just do a few attacks here. No. Oh. Dodge, dodge. Heal. And then just go in for it. There we go. That's another one down. Oh, that hurts. I didn't even have a chance to dodge that time. Alright, I can do this. Just getting kicked in the ass by several... several things that are much higher level than me. Okay. I can do this. All right, let's go here. Open up this door. Take that. As soon as I come over here, yep. that. Heal. Oh, come on. And I don't have any blood. Drink his blood, drink his blood. Come on. Alright, heal. Go right in. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Put spear to the face. Grant his blood. Almost there. We can do this. There we go. Killed one. All right, now we're down to just one. All right, just drain his blood. Stabby, stabby. There we go. I did it! Yay! Let's heal up. I'm 
unlock that door. Oh, I actually do have to go through that door. All right, let's lower the water. That's still down there. Lower the water some more. All right, I think I need to lower it one more time. Yep, okay. That looks right. Well, thankfully, we can just teleport. Would have been nice if we could teleport through the doors, but you know. Alright, there's a couple of rats. Oh! Please, Teasdale. Down here. How do I get to you? How long are you going to keep me locked in here? Oh god. Is this a hostage thing? Vampires are so weak. Let me go, you bastard! Alright, just gonna take him out like this. I don't even know what he is. I'm assuming a vampire. Wow, okay. Come on, come on. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Oh, yeah, that hurt. Shouldn't your shield have failed by now? Got your blood. Yep, there we go. Oh, no. Not what I wanted to do. We'll claw him, though. Just need to do this. Claw him. God, I do not do much damage to him. Alright, Warfamo. Glad to see you. Hope you have a good day off. Oh, that hurt. That hurt so much. How long are you gonna keep me locked in? Oh, God, why? Why? <sighs> but not have okay, I don't have to fight those other things again. All right, let's get on through. Don't you know better? No, I don't. Oh, ow. Ow. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. None of that happened. Nothing. Nothing happened. Whatever just happened didn't happen. It didn't exist. Nobody saw anything. I've only died once. Drain his blood. How long are you gonna keep me locked in? Break your back. This is my territory. Let me go, you fucker! I thought I dodged that one, but okay.
Oh, jeez. There we go. Ooh. That charge attack does a lot. <sighs> Why is this one vampire giving me so much trouble? I think it's actually because of his shield. He gets that shield and I can't do any damage to him. Alright. First attempt. This is the first attempt. I haven't died yet. Drink his blood. Let's see. Bring him back. Do some damage. Stupid newborn. There we go. But, I was out of the way for that. There we go. Drink his blood, drink his blood. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Then almost there. There we go. Oh, boy. I have just arrived in London after a grueling journey from Manchester. The city is sad and despaired. It will not be difficult to find a woman willing to escape death here. I cannot wait to start my research. Soon I won't be a virgin anymore. Oh god, this is an incel vampire. It's an incel vampire. The cell is ready. All I must do now is to find the appropriate candidate and bring her in. She will be beautiful and gentle, with a nice temper. I have already tested my persuasion ability on a few women and it worked. Most of the time. But I don't want my future bride to be submissive. I will only use my power to bring her here. And I'll tell her what I intend to do, and I'll let her accept. This is important. I want my lady to willing accept my, to become my wife for eternity. God. I think I have found the perfect match. Her name is Louise. She is a waitress in a public house, and she is quite charming. I love her attitude when serving drink in that bar. Tough and proud. I am sure she will accept my offer. Once she is mine, once the vampire blood will have achieved her metamorphosis, her face shall heal properly and her scars will disappear. Then she will be the perfect beauty. I'm the only one to see right now. What does that last line even mean? Then she will be the perfect beauty. I'm the only one to see right now. I'm not sure what that means. I don't understand. Louise refuses my proposition. Why would she? I promised her I would never force her to do anything. I may let her starve a little. Then she'll understand I'm her only option. Wow. Damn. Yep. And sells bad. Okay. Let's save this girl. You okay? Miss Teasdale. Are you alright? How do you know my name? Who are you? My name is Dr. Reed. I managed to track you down thanks to your father. So oh yeah, by the way, your really father's dead. After me. This man, this vampire told me my father was dead. Is it true? I'm afraid so, miss. I'm so sorry for your loss. But you are free to go, as your abductor is no more. I suppose my jailer also killed my father, didn't he? Thankfully, he did not search your father's corpse, where I found his notes describing where he might find you. You should read them. I must find my father's body. He deserves a proper burial. Alright, well. Oh, and you've got a headache, but I can't heal you right now. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again. Well then. Wow, there's a ring in there. Now, how is she going to get out, exactly? Because looking around... 
not really a way for her to, uh, oh, maybe she can climb on these. I guess that makes sense. Alright, where am I going? I gotta go up here, don't I? No, nope, that's not the way I need to go. Ooh, common axe. Long axe often used by woodcutters or firefighters. Weapon ability, blood absorption. Okay, so I can absorb blood with the axe here. Ooh, this would do a lot more damage. Might switch over to the axe at some point. Oh, this is a two-handed weapon, that's why. Alright. 120 damage. 330 damage. Actually. Yeah, you can just absorb blood with this. Interesting. Okay, apparently I wasn't supposed to go up here. Except to get that axe. Hey, I'm at the exit. Let's see. Crash? Trash. Crash good. Temple Church. And who might you be? Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? That's I'm conducting ask you. an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland. Oh, an actual cop. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? I mean... I'm a doctor investigating the freaking plague going on. I work for the Ascalon Club. Here is my permit to go freely about the city. The Ascalon Club? You should have said oh, so. Oh, so he's sir. a corrupt. I must yeah, warn you, these streets too. are dangerous, and you'd better be careful. <laughs> oh, God, about your what investigation. Are you investigating, exactly. I currently have a few missing persons cases. Mr. Tadao Kamura and Miss Louise Teasdale. Hey, I found one of those. I'm afraid they may have been abducted by my mysterious maniac. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Her father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea? No. But I think. Well, I already found her, so you know. Tell Not me Mr. about Kimura. Mr. Kimura. Mr. Kimura is a businessman has been missing for a few days. He didn't go home, didn't go to work, didn't go back to his family. Where was he last seen? Mr. Kimura was last seen at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. I followed a possible lead in the West End, but I found nothing. Okay. Uh, do you know... Do you know Mr. anything Dawson? in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it. With just one phone call. Oh yeah, so definitely not somebody that I want to be uh, turning into a vampire. Okay. okay. Goodbye, so, Detective. Bye. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Oh, I'm sure we will. Background music reminds me of Stranger Things. Oh, good. Now I can walk through here. Alright. What else is around here? Where am I even going? I 
What's down here? Ooh. Stuff to explore. That's a person sitting there. Okay. What exactly is this place? Crime of lost knowledge. Vampires are dangerous. Deadly. Vicious sometimes. This is a fact and I won't deny it, and that's precisely why we must understand what they are. Sometimes who they are in order to achieve to achieve a better mutual understanding. Oh, this is is this guy one of those Saint Paul people? Do you remember the interview with Titus Flavius Josephus, conducted by one of us in 1548 when he finally encountered the creature in Spain? Do you remember how each of the very carefully chosen words expressed by this vampire warms our heart each time we read them? For they were all extraordinary windows to a past of which we only have glimpses? Well, Titus Flavius Josephus is no more. <clears throat> Since the Vatican's hunters destroyed him a few weeks ago, and with him vanishes unearthed treasures of knowledge about the pillars of our civilization. This is a crime probably as heartbreaking as the killing of an innocent life by a vampire. Interesting. This is exactly why the path of the guard of Prewin is as criminal as it is barren, for each time they successfully conduct one of their methodical hunts on the old vampires of England, instead of carefully and respectfully approaching them, they destroy a part of our common roots with the immortals. They wipe an opportunity. The concept of the great hunt is a crime for it blindly kills words and thoughts. From Drinking at the Fountain of Knowledge by Usher Taltree, Primate of St. Paul. Interesting. Jonathan Reed. At last oh, you're a meet. fortune teller. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Yep, he is I'll one of the St. Paul people. Dr. Swansea can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. Usher Talltree. Oh you God, are the leader Usher. of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. But he's the leader? I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me. He's yes, the leader of the Brotherhood everything. of St. Paul's Stole. He told me that you have not taken another life since your poor sister died. How do you know about the lives How I took? How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? Vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. So I'm assuming I'm on the right path to actually get a good ending here. Since he said I haven't killed anybody. Alright. Let me hear it. You're on a path to redemption, Jonathan. But be careful. One single trip and you'll fall. That doesn't sound promising. Take this, young Ekon. As a personal reward for your strong oh, will. I get a gift for uh, the right not killing anybody. Safety. Old blood. Old blood. May I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. So, who founded, who the, founded Brotherhood? the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question I cannot answer. It is delicate, and may reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club of academics and scholars? Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more oh, ferocious okay. and corrupted. I know there is no love lost between the Guard of Prewen and the Brotherhood. I wonder if the Guard of, of Prewin was, like, part of that. The Brotherhood was stronger then. A strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided... So they were part of them. Wow, healed. I called that right away. the nature of the disagreement? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. We divide up the books... So the Guard of Prewin was the more violent, aggressive part of the, uh, Brotherhood. That wanted to kill everybody. Yeah, do you have... Yeah. Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson. 
Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Dawn Golden Dawn familiar? until 19. Is that a real thing? Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts, readings which blackened his heart. So, yeah, he's definitely a bad guy. Goodbye, sir. I rarely wonder. Guards never lie, but they are never Don't mind me. I just want to steal from your chest. Ah, uh, okay, there's really nothing else for me to do down here. Wait. What? Are there, like, secret entrances here? That's gotta come up at some point later. It's gotta. See anybody else around? Or am I just going around in a big circle? Oh, that's nice. Oh, hideout. Perfect. Let's see. I just need I just need to study this old blood. Okay, so that gives you gives me the stronger generation serum. All right. Generate 800 health points instantly then 150 health points over 15 seconds. Dang. Uh, what about weapons? Ooh, I can upgrade that. Oh, I need more uh, aluminum parts. Otherwise, it gives me a good amount of blood. I think that's about a sixth of my uh, my uh, blood total. Let's see that. Okay, that's for stun. Okay. Decrease reloading time. Alright. Not gonna worry too much about that. Your money? Money! I'm rich. Alright. So... I don't think... I might want... Eh... We'll go ahead and, uh... Rest and level up. Let's see. What capacity? Let's see. I. Oh, I can upgrade this to 950 damage. Ooh, that's good. I should probably upgrade this, though. Give myself a little more healing. Alright, so I can't upgrade those anymore. Let's upgrade my blood capacity. And we're also gonna upgrade. Ooh. Just gonna use the thousand. Yeah, we'll upgrade that. 
see. And might as well upgrade this. Alright, and then, yep, places are going down. Go up or down? Oh, I think it's just gonna stay there. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so it's. Oh. Okay. Nothing too dangerous. Also, I'm level 24. That. Oh, hello. Die, baby. Don't tell me to die. Oh, hello. Ah, that drains all my my stamina, doesn't it? Oh, just... Do you mind? Oh, no, stay away. Okay. I just need you to get stunned, that's all. So I can drink your blood. There we go. Alright. Best be moving on. Did you just watch me kill your friends and then be like, better walk away? Alright, where exactly am I going? Not here. Oh, what's over here? So I'm assuming, yep, that goes into Whitechapel. Okay. I am unlocking shortcuts. Excuse me, sir. You know where I can find someone who could take my claws? Oh, you'll take my claws? Okay. Oh, that hurts. You know what? I'll kill you first. How's that? Give me some blood. That's all I need. Just a little bit of blood. Hey, that's what you get. All right. Where even am I? Uh, okay, I'm back there. So I guess I'm going this way. Then, oh, there's people. There's people to talk to. Price's shop. Good evening, Miss Price. How are you tonight? Dr. Reed, I didn't know you had returned from the war. Oh, okay, so this is somebody I already knew. I you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble Damn right shop. you will. Uh, let's try yeah, it. What do you got? What do you got? Aluminum parts. Really just parts for upgrades. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I hope you can stay a little longer this time. All right. Good evening. You know. So do you know, do you know Aloysius, Aloysius Dawson? Dawson? Everybody knows him. He's only been to my shop once, though, looking for rare books and other intriguing antiques. Did he buy? Hopefully, by the time no, I get to him, he's already dead. He almost laughed at my goods. Mr. Dawson may be a rich man, but you can't buy good manners. But isn't Aloysius Dawson known for his philanthropy? That was before his brother Robert died in an aeroplane crash. 
since then, the remaining twin has turned into a heartless tiger. Oh, so it's probably like a thing where he realized that he could die and now wants to do everything he can to avoid death. Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? I remember you were often concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now. But she'll always remain I don't think I have. Baby. So you're less afraid. Some things never change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. Her innocence Why puts would her, her in innocence danger. Put her in danger. She does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. My poor dear Carol. That's good to you be cautious. Have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price. Especially in these difficult times. Maybe you could talk with her, Dr. Reed. It would be nice to have a man here more often. We would both feel safer. Why do I get the feeling that she's into uh, the good doctor here? Goodbye. I'm assuming that's the daughter down there. Oh, this goes into the sewers. Is this where I came out from? I think this is where I came out from. Yeah, West End, Temple Sewers. Yeah, this is where I came out from. Yeah, I did go into one big circle. guys good evening sir i am dr jonathan reed do you need my help yes please would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is that's all you need to know well is it not important to know as important as where you are or who you are i suppose you're right and who are you then sir i am agamemnon baker like my brother i think we need to leave this city immediately and my brother and i rarely agree on anything that was a very weird conversation. Dear me, my I would appreciate some sun. Uh, personal questions. No, okay. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. Interesting. Okay, that's what Goodbye. I'm gonna do. You're useless to me. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just. Your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is I mean, you no. forgot That's what your best name. friend looked I'm like, apparently, I've already so. heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. But we probably didn't meet. Me? No. Uh, let's see, do you know what Aloysius you Dawson? About Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Interesting. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. I gotta go find his mansion. Alright, we got red paint. Thing. I'm assuming that leads back into the hideout I found. Then what is this mansion going to be back here? Or is this his mansion here? Where is the entrance? I am lost and confused. It's locked. I feel like this must be his mansion right here. Right? It's 
It's gotta be, right? Where is the entrance? Otherwise, I'm just running around in circles. I don't want to be running around in circles. Entrance has got to be somewhere. Yeah, I just ran around in a circle. Is it over here? No, I'm going the wrong way. I'm definitely going the wrong way. Go this way. Yeah, is it over here? I feel like it's over here. Also, that was a very strange looking light. Yeah, it's gotta be over here. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, it's gotta be this place right here. This has gotta be it. Oh, yeah. This looks like somebody's place that, uh... That they believe in the occult and all that. All right, Mr. Dawson. Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? That is an excellent question. Especially one that is known for evil deeds. I feel like I'd be uh, going against the Hippocratic Oath if I if I uh, turn him into a vampire. Where even is he? I don't see a little heartbeat. Take his stuff, though. He's got money everywhere, apparently. Oh, there he is. All right, Mr. Dawson. Here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I was hoping I had you would to pass die. Several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. That's what I'm counting on. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel I'm also not here as your lover. But don't get too excited. Would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. That's what I'm First hoping all, for. I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. We can take a few minutes. So I'm going to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure? For even a minute. I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs. Oh, perfect. Cold, it's going to be really so fast. Cold. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? 
Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. Well, then I don't really want to bother. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. Wow. Okay. His twin brother died in a plane crash. Loisus. Okay. Yeah, I got all of the uh, hints on him. What do you know about the guard of Prewin? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Oh yeah, this guy's pretty Let's bad. Move on, then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the Yeah, but that ones. stuff doesn't work. Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. Oh my god. You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Why not use yes, that money to, like, you know, and strong, try and find a way to cure the plague? The You'll create two separate By prisons. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. But they haven't. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor. They this only work if everybody in that quarantine does it voluntarily. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's oh, all Oh, that yeah, yeah, this, this guy... Uh, this guy's horrible. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated, so as kill soon people as they are if you think they're sick. Okay. But you can't You're not much better than that uh, priest guy who wanted to burn down Just the entirety one of London. contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. Yeah. I've heard enough. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. Let's see, you sacrifice. Oh, here we go. Forget your fear of dying. So I don't want to kill him. I don't want to turn him. I just want him to Listen die naturally. To me, Aloysius Dawson. You will forget your fear of dying, for it has poisoned your mind and made you bitter and ruthless since the death of your twin brother. You don't understand. Death is oblivion, the eternal void. I know there's nothing there. I saw it in Robert's empty eyes. I saw myself in that coffin. Death is painful for those who remain, not for those who have passed. All that occult gibberish you filled your head with has made you forget this simple truth. No! Death will not claim me. I have the power and the money. I've acquired the arcane knowledge needed. I believe there is magic. There are dark forces. You will provide me my extension. I will do no such thing. Your ignorance makes you a fool. You have no idea. Look at me. Hunted like a beast. My family lost. Cursed. I have not escaped death. I have become it. No, there must be a way. I don't want to go like my brother did. I have money. Lots of money. Money won't ease your mind. I know you used to be a good and generous man. So I offer you the gift of peace, Aloysius. 
the tranquility of a true. Oh wait, am I offering to just kill him outright? I accept your offer. And I understand. No more fear, I will die a man of dignity. And a man at peace. Wow, okay. Well then. That was a thing. That was definitely a thing. Oh, you're right here. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn, oh boy. as expected? I'm afraid Mr. Dawson finally chose to embrace life and death as a mortal. What do you mean? He has overcome his fear of dying. I let him rest and wait for death to come. What? This is unacceptable. Go back there and make him the powerful Econ he's destined to be. No, Lord Redgrave. As a doctor and as an immortal, I can't. If you wish to make him your progeny, then proceed on your own. This is an outrage of words. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I mean, you're already sending people. kill you people, on the spot. Sending people Score to kill me or William whatever, Marshall's so. Blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. All right, this I'm is good. This makes me feel good. Shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone. <laughs> God, he's a horrible person. Oh boy. Caramel dance and dance on camera. No, no, I cannot. I am a horrible dancer. Oh, it's you. We meet again at the strangest of times, <laughs> young Econ. So, do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget. Maybe later on when I have a lot more followers. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe. She sent me. No promises. It's a maybe. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. Oh, I bet you she was the one that to told uh, Elizabeth that uh, uh, Lord Redgrave can't turn people into vampires. He can only turn people into skulls. What kind of answers did you give her? Because she, she was probably her, uh, but we talked. the skull we talked a lot. that he found that out from. Her words and ideas are captivating. She was probably created by no Lord Redgrave. That you like her. I like her too. Hey now. We're not gonna have any competition here. Lady it's already Ashton the doctor's lady. Now that's you ain't stealing her away. She said she was your friend, and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. Alright, so what's going on? Lady Ashbury. You know her. Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet is she still remains undead? angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is oh, going well, on. The lady asked plus. us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Oh. Uh. No time to no lose. No time then. to lose. Then, I must go there right away. I shall return. Got to protect day. the hospital. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Oh. Uh. Yeah. 
You know what? We're going all in on this love story. Yes. Going her all her. in. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Ekon. For the flames are rising. Oh. Okay, so there, it's actually on fire. Cool. Um, where am I going? Where does this go? Oh, I can't go that way. Alright. Let us go back to the hospital. Haven't done that on, a, on stream in a while. Haven't been there in a while. Oh. Okay. So apparently I'm just gonna start killing off, uh... London's elite. Alright, give me your blood. Give me all of your blood. There you go. 99 shillings. And a tiny good handle part. Where am I? I need to go this way. Oh, yep, there's a uh, hunter. Let's see, we're in Whitechapel now. Oh, you've got a uh, cold. Let me heal your cold. Good evening, sir. Do you remember me? If you're here for a reward, you'll be sorely disappointed. But I'll gladly shake the hand of a fellow countryman. I'm not here for a bounty. I'm a doctor. A doctor? In Whitechapel? What an opportunity. My name's Bates. Cadogan Bates. Do you require assistance? That's an interesting Mr. name, Mr. Not Bates. Not me, but your skills could help a lot of people around here. That would help my business, because I say... A live tenant's a paying tenant. Oh, so you're just kind of a dick. That's cool. Since I took an oath to help people, can I be of assistance? Wow. Well, I'm only going to assist you because I took an oath. But it was bound to happen with all these refugees about. Yeah, you're a horrible In person, aren't you? you? is probably the last thing on these people's minds. Take this. And There's a lot of crappy oh, people in London. Give me this for free. Don't have a clue about this place, do you? Goodbye. All right. Is there anybody else around? Let's see. Snake oil salesman. Where am I going? I am going to the hospital. I need to go this way. Yes, this way. And this way. And this is looking somewhat familiar. Oh, level 31, Rogue Ekon. Let's just start off by breaking his back. Come on, boy. Fight me like a real man. Guess you weren't a real man. Also, Rogue Volkod, I am not touching that thing. There used to be a beast under here, but okay. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Oh, they're going to be fighting somebody. Oh, rogue skulls. Okay. Just going to hide. Moment. Oh, I can jump up there. Oh, there's more skulls. Oh, 
Alright, while he's taking care of those, I'm just gonna run over here. Just wanna go over here. Ignore everything else. Well, well, well. Really? Show me how you Hammersley. Let's just use this. And my stamina recharges, which is great. So I can just keep on wailing on them. 95 shillings, goddamn. These people are rich. They're making me rich. What is this truck? Are the vampire hunters here already? Interesting. Let's jump up here. Alright. Actually, I should probably make some healing potions. Because I'm sure I'm about to go into another boss battle. Let's see. I'll make these. There we go. And then... Switch it over to that. All right. Sorry that these sad and faded walls are all I have to offer as a final resting place. This is a poor hospital, you know. Oh, there's an X on the wall. Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar? Uh, oh, Looks I guess like I can wounded. investigate it. I better follow the blood. Warning letter. Dear Dr. Swansea, I must inform you of my deepest reservations concerning, concerning the Dr. Thoreau Strickland and Harvey Fittick case. Mr. Fittick has been hospitalized after a severe work injury. He may permanently lose the use of his arm if not. Okay, this is already. What was your birthday? I, I missed the date on that. October 23rd? That's your birthday? Twenty-fifth. Well, pretty close. Only got another eight months to go. Alright. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be following a blood trail. Where is the blood trail? Oh, went this way. Oh, went this way. Okay, there's his handprint. Still went this way. Is this an elevator? I was not expecting to find a, an elevator in here. This looks like a room for a boss battle. Definitely going to be a boss battle. Uh, ultraviolet curtains and ori calcium powder. Doctor Swansea's uh, always been a resourceful bastard. I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Says a lot about how much he trusts you. Well, I mean, it's smart to do. Don't worry. You don't know if we don't kill humans. Don't know if a vampire is actually going to go crazy or not. What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster just like William Marshall did. No. Wait, what? I'm trying to put an end to it. Just like you are. You're the progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We've found proof in the theater. 
Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Yep, boss battle time. Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. You're gonna drink it? This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. Wow, just throwing insults out there? Holy crap, you do a lot of damage. Close your Jeez. eyes! This is gonna hurt. Alright, you know what? Let's just use this. That sounded like it hurt. Oh god, really? Oh my god, those are hard to dodge. Oh jeez, gotta stay out of the light. Oh, okay. Okay, you just kill me in two shit, two hits. Okay. Well, might be leaving this stream off on another boss fight. Come on, Reed. Toy something else. All right, drink her blood. Said it's King Arthur's blood. So. All right, break back, breaker, back, breaker. I know. It hurts, doesn't it? Your poisonous bite is useless on me. Poisonous bite. I don't have a poisonous bite. I will steal some of your blood, though. Show some style. Show some style and fight like a man, as you just shoot me. Oh, ow! What pick you down? No, you won't. Jeez, that hurts. Will you get out of the corner so I can do things? God, that does a lot of damage. Come on, Reed. Try something else. You're literally just sitting in the corner. The blood of a true defender of this land will protect me. I'm really confused. Free wind prevails. Oh, wow, that's a lot of light. Go ahead, hit me. We can do hit me. What pick you down? I got no. There we go. The light is preventing my stamina from regening, so I can't even dodge. You can't win this. Ow! I know. That hurts, doesn't it? Oh, 
Alright, alright, alright. I can do this. I can do this. If you're so innocent, why does simple night burn you so much? Because I'm a goddamn vampire. You know that. True light will cleanse you. All right, backbreaker, backbreaker. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh boy. All right, that. Oh, oh, stay out of the light. Stay out of the light. Take my spear. Close your eyes. This is gonna hurt. There we go. Oh boy. Oh. We are the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? <laughs> we always have been, and we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. We could collaborate. I'm not we could be friends, you and I. But perhaps we could collaborate to put an end to this epidemic. Never! We are Prewin. We do not negotiate. We do not compromise. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCollum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now. For there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. I don't want to kill you. Wait, what if I made him a vampire? That's where you're mistaken. What do you mean? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Spare him or make him a vampire? Um, uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I need to see if, uh, I want to turn him into a vampire, but if that's going to prevent me from getting the good ending, I need to look that up. Uh... God, what's this guy's name? Let's see. Let's see. Okay, okay, yeah, it, it'll mess a few things up. So, I'll spare him. I'll spare you, McCollum. I'll offer you the mercy you never offered me. What is this ruse? This is no ruse, McCollum. This is me letting you go. After all, you and I are both trying to save this poor country. When I eventually do an evil playthrough, I'll turn him. I'll turn him into a vampire. <laughs> I'll kill you, Reed. Next time we meet, I'll end you. See? Progress already. You called me by my name. Until the next time. Goodbye, Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jonathan Reed is definitely a badass. All right. God, 5,000 XP. Wow.
Alright, so uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the stream there. I think that's definitely a good place to end. But, uh, Cora, thank you for watching. I'll be going back to some uh, X4 space game tomorrow and Sunday, so that'll be fun. And then, uh, might do something a little different uh, on Monday. I'm thinking I might try a brand new game that came out a few weeks ago, but I'll see see where I'm at. I might do XCOM 2 on Monday, or I might do the new game. Not sure, 100% sure yet. Uh, it's called Industries of Titan. Uh, let me see real real quick. I got it right after it came out. I haven't tried it yet. Where are you? Might help if I actually typed it in. It's a uh, strategy game. Don't really know too much about it. Was thinking of doing like a first impressions stream. But it's either that or uh, XCOM 2 on Monday. I'm not 100% sure which yet, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. But uh, aside from that, uh, I'm going to go ahead, sign off, and uh, hopefully you guys have a good day. Hopefully see you tomorrow and Sunday.